Let's make a Spanish ground beef wrap. All right, let's get started. So this is what we're gonna be working with today. Um, let's start out with a really lean ground beef, about a pound of that guy. Um, next, we're gonna use this onion. Um, I'm only use about half of it, finely diced. Um, then next is going to be this no sugar added tomato sauce. And then uh, make sure it's low in sugar and sodium. Also, we're going to be using a non-fat Greek yogurt. And of course, my Pops Plate Spanish seasoning. Check out popsplate.com. Get yourself your own little bottle. Um, next, some shredded cheese. I'm using Parmesan. Please use like the cheese of your choice. Um, next is going to be spinach, chopped spinach, some tortillas here, and then we're also going to be using some olive oil or a non-stick spray. It's your choice. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just add some olive oil in and a preheated pan. Then add in those onions, finely diced. And stir everything together. And then you're going to want to cook it for a little bit until it becomes translucent before adding in the ground beef. And then slowly chop and mix up that ground beef together, just like so. And then I'm going to throw in my Pops Plate Spanish seasoning, about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half, up to your choice. Again, check out popsplate.com, get yourself some of this, it's delicious. And it makes everything from chicken, salmon, beef taste a lot better. So once everything's mixed together, just like that, then you're going to add in that tomato sauce, and then you're also going to be adding in that Greek yogurt. And mix everything together here. And then once it's all mixed together, you're going to add those three cups of chopped spinach, and then you're going to want to slowly just fold it in. It makes it so you don't spill everything. Um, and then you're going to want to wait till that's like wilted, just like that. And then um, you're going to take it off the heat and then throw about a scoop, scoop and a half onto a tortilla. It should be separated in about three different servings. And once that's done, you're going to add top with your cheese. Again, I'm using Parmesan. Um, the Mexican shredded blend is also a great choice, kind of whatever you prefer. And then on another pan with a nonstick spray, you're going to throw that wrap on, on there, try to get it browned on each side. And then there you go. That's it. It's great for prepping. Um, it lasts and it tastes amazing. And it's also a way to kind of hide that spinach in the ground beef to make it so you get your greens in without hating it. <laughs> And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think.